What's going on guys, it's Derp Avenger here and welcome back to my Battlefield 3 weapons tutorial. This week we're covering the M40A5 sniper rifle, unlocked at 104,000 score with recon class. Let's get to it. First of all, I'd like to cover a little backstory on the M40A5. It's made in the United States, it was created in 1966 and is still being used uh, presently. It's been a ton of wars, including the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and the Afghan, in the uh, in the Iraqi War, and the war in Afghanistan. It costs about two thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars to own one, and it fires a standard seven six two by fifty-one millimeter NATO round. The round's been around forever since the fifties and the early AK forty-sevens. So uh, that's the origin of the rifle. Now the M forty A five sniper rifle is a very specific gun. You have to use it in a certain way, or it's just not going to be effective as it should be on the battlefield. Starting off with some statistics of the rifle. Statistics. Um, it has a ten ten round uh, mag size. It shoots. Well, it's it's a bolt action, so you cycle every round. Um, three load time is two and a half seconds if a round is still in the chamber, and three and a half if it's completely emptied. The starting ammo is 11, 11 in the mag, one in the chamber, and 30, 33 rounds. And then max ammo you can get 55 extra rounds. Now the base damage varies. It's usually about from 75 to 55, really depending on where you're shooting. But no matter what, it'll be a two shot kill, no matter where you shoot them from because everyone has 100 health in Battlefield. Now the multipliers are uh, two times to the head, so instant kill if you shoot anyone in the head. Um, base damage to the torso and .9 to the limbs. Now the recoil, um, it depends if you have the straight pull bolt on. If you, if you shoot without it, you have to unscope, scope back in, and then cycle it, or unscope, cycle, then scope back in. But if you have the straight pull bolt on, you could just stay scoped in and stay on target. Now the effective range in real life is just around a thousand meters, but in Battlefield it really doesn't matter because I've seen shots up to three thousand meters out. But but yeah, there's some uh, statistics on the uh, on the rifle. Okay, now when we're talking about unlocks with the M40A5, there's just a plethora of them. Um, there's there's sixteen of them. And 10 of them include optics, including like a 12x scope, a holographic, red dot, infrared, 7x, 3.5 times, or 3.4 3 times zoom. There's just a whole bunch of options you have to choose from to uh, get the maximum effectiveness the way you want to play on the battlefield. Now, you can, there, these options, like the bipod, you could set up at 1,000 meters and just start picking people off if you're that type of player. Or if you like to reflex or... Or a holographic sight, and you like to run and gun, and you think you should slap the suppressor on, and be silent like a ninja and just take people out. You can play like that. Like the unlocks let you customize the way you want to play, because they just let you become a lethal weapon on the battlefield according to the exact way you you, you want to play the game, and it's really useful. I personally prefer the straight pull bolt with the standard 8x scope it's not listed here because it comes standard on the rifle when you, when you unlock it the straight pull bolt the tactical light and the um and the 8x zoom scope i find it's the most effective uh, way that i like to play but if you play differently you could choose whatever you want to play as there are three options to choose from when um, picking your equipment slot for your recon class you could either choose the soul flam which is a um it's a designator you put on the ground, you can leave it un unmanned, it will target air and land vehicles for you, wherever you're looking at, and you could, they'll automatically target for you, like with a javelin, you can't normally hit a jet with a javelin, because it's a surface to surface missile launcher, you could target a javelin with, you could target a jet with a javelin, it's a hard to say, it's a tongue twister, and that's what that does, it targets uh, land vehicles for you. Now, the second thing you could pick is the TUGS, the TUGS, or the Tactical Unattended Ground Sensor. Now this, you place down, say if you're up in a sniper nest, you place it next to you, and you'll hear an audible beep if someone's within 10, 10 yards, 10, 15 yards of you, I don't know the exact um, distance, but it's really useful, say for TDM, you're on the go, you're set up in a spot and you really can't watch your back. Maybe conquest and you're up on a hill and you don't want to get assassinated or something. That's the other option. And the third option, my personal favorite, is the MAV, or the Micro Air Vehicle. Is that what that stands for? It's a remotely operated micro, it's a, it's a remotely operated um, flying detector equipped with a suit of motion sensors and a camera with IRNV capabilities for aerial um, reconnaissance. 
which means that you fly it around with a controller and target people for your team. And if you're lucky, and if you're good with it, you can actually get a kill with it. It's quite funny, but I've only gotten one and never recorded it. It's really hard to do. So yeah, those are your equipment options. They're both very, um, they're both really good and useful, depending on what game modes and what game types you're playing. So choose wisely. I personally like the MAV because I like to help out my team with targeting and you can get kills with it if you're good with it. So um, yeah, the MAV is the way to go for me. The Tugs and the uh, Soul Flame are also good though. Now there are a few effective options when you're choosing your pistols. You could use a silenced pistol, which obviously gives you the option of being stealthy over busting caps that are super loud. Or, you could choose something like a powerful, high power revolver, like the MP4-2, or the MP4-1-2, excuse me, which is good, say you get a hit marker, you bust that thing out and pop someone in the face and they die instantly. It's pretty, uh, pretty good secondary, if you can make up for the low recoil. Now, the, uh, the MP4-4-3 silenced, super low recoil, high mag sized, it's good for getting a lot of bolts on target. The M9 is the same way, a little bit less, um, a little bit less uh, mag size, a little more recoil, a little more skill to use. The MP412 has a really slow fire rate, super high power bullets, good for finishing enemies off, and it's it's a good way just to whip it out and shoot someone. That's what she said. And um, yeah, whatever one suits you. Obviously, you would use. I like to use the MP443. When I'm using a bolt action rifle and when I'm using a semi automatic, I use the MP4 or I use the MP412 uh, Rex because it's, it's good for finishing people off. So, yeah, choose whatever pistol is according to your playstyle. Okay, I've made a few loadouts that um, might help you be a more effective asset on the battlefield the way you like to play. Now, the first loadout is the support slash spawning one that I, that I made. You use the standard. Um, 8x rifle scope or you can use a ballistic scope whatever one you're better with the straight pole bolt so you can stay on target and keep sending rounds down range and a tactical light now the tactical light is for um, close range just in case you get snuck up on that's what I like to use and the second option is um, my slayer slash offensive class you use a straight pole bolt a sound suppressor and a holographic sight and this loadout is really good if you're good at getting headshots, because it's a two-shot kill if you don't. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're stealthy because the suppressor and the holographic lets you aim close range. Or you could just take all the optics off and use the iron sights on the rifle, which are pretty good too. Um, whatever suits your playstyle better. I like the uh, first one better. <clears throat> this the um, support option. But you choose whatever one you want here. A few suggestions to help you become better. Okay, for the final slide here, you see it's the most effective loadout. This is the loadout that I have the most success with, the way I play. I play a more supportive, um, suppression, spawning type of class, type of playstyle. Now, it's the M40A5 with a standard 8x scope with a straight pull bolt and a tactical light. I find this loadout, like I said earlier, a really effective combination of uh, close range and suppression long range. For my pistol, I like to choose... The MP443 because it has super high mag size and low recoil and the fire rate is really high. You could really um, squeeze that trigger quickly. Now for my equipment slot I like the MAV because I think the um, the support factor it offers is really really good. It really helps your team out um, targeting enemies and telling them where they are. Um, okay this has been the second episode of my Battlefield 3 weapons tutorial. I hope my tutorial has <laughs> let you become a better asset to your team on the battlefield and I will see you in two weeks when I release the next episode I haven't decided which gun it's going to be yet I will let you know though okay guys bye